Yeah. What's up everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing another topic based off of Raging Blast 3. So tell me, how much do you guys want Raging Blast 3 to happen? I mean, we have been asking for 12 years now, and it seems that it's not clicking in that we really want a Rage and Blast 3. Like, do we have to make a bunch of videos based off of it? Do we have to protest it? I don't know. But literally, they're making every other game but the game we're asking for. Please tell me how that works. Like, honestly, should we just call in the towels? Should we throw in towels and just be like, you know what? They're not going to make a Rage and Blast 3. And uh, the mods are as far as we're going to get. But as you can see, the mod team is trying their best. Not even trying their best. They're basically making the game even more funner than it usually is. Like, bro, we have mods now that look so good in Raging Blast 3 form or Raging Blast 2 Remastered. Whatever you want to call it. The point is, literally, even the own fans can do it so much better than the company. It's like insane. It's like, bro... It's possible, and it's like, why are they lacking this, you know? It's not that hard. Just make us a Raging Blast 3, please. We've been asking for it for so long. And I feel like the main reason why they're not doing it is because Raging Blast 2 didn't sell well. And I feel like that's the problem and the major downfall. How do you know it won't sell well if you didn't make it yet? You know what I mean? Think about it, bro. You're going to have GT, Super, Dragon Ball, and all the other different forms into RB3. Or if they make a Raging Blast 4 for all I care. Bro, we'll end up having so many forms that it's going to be ridiculous and everyone's going to have mad fun. But I don't know, guys. Apparently what it seems like to me is that... We might not even get a Rage and Blast 3 at this rate. They'll keep coming up with all these other games like Dragon Ball that we don't want, you know? They're making every other Dragon Ball game we don't want except for the one we truly do. So uh, I'm probably going to be making more Rage and Blast 3 content and stuff. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. Like, I feel like the mod team is doing a lot more than what, you know, the company's doing. Like, the mod team's making the game more fun. Shoot. <laughs> make the mod team make the new game. For all I care, if that's what it's gonna lead to. You know what I mean? Shoot. Have the modders make the game. If the company's not gonna do it. Or, like, even entrust them, you know? Like, give them the credit. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Because, bro, it's not impossible. Yes, it takes time. And the modders are showing that it is quite possible to make a Rage and Blast 3. I just feel like it's all based off of money and they're not going to do it. And personally for me, if they were to make a Rage and Blast 3, I feel like they should at least add that to PS3 as well too. Because the game has been for PS3 first. But if not, I understand. At least do it for the PS4 and 5. I feel like that's the only way all of us would truly, and I mean truly, go to the 4 or 5. Because I still play on the 3. But if they were to make, you know, a Rage and Blast 3 for the 4, shoot, sign me up. I wouldn't mind, uh, you know... Finally paying for my PS4 to play that game. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please subscribe, like, and comment. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I uh, But before I end this video, I really feel like if they're really going to be like this, we might as well just enjoy the mods for now since they're so focused on the money aspect of the game. Peace out, everyone. And see you in the next video.